So my phone just shut down. Okay. It got too hot. It got too hot, huh? <laughs> it got too hot. Okay. Y'all, my phone got too hot. And I never... I do all of my video editing on my phone. My phone got too hot and said it was an emergency and it was too hot. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Is this conversation too hot? Is that what's going on? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, that's all right. We back. So, like I'm saying, we are called to shift this paradigm. And this, it cannot be accomplished if we're going to be afraid to fulfill our spiritual office, our calling, whatever that is. Even if you don't know what that is yet, it's being activated. So, I know this is going to be so hard for men. I know, I know, I know. Because... For a long time, they felt like they were God's gift to women. And, you know, this world has actually arrested their emo emotional development. So they don't, they don't really know who they are either. They're still discovering that. And it's, it's no shame in that. But what I... But what I'm saying to y'all is I wouldn't be surprised if a woman is the next president just because of this energy. When a woman became the vice president and a woman became head of Supreme Court, you can look anywhere that you live and see this happening. When all of these different things started to happen, it started to, you know, communicate a spiritual message that this world held women back because we are the portals for access for these new dimensions to be born. And we can't live the way the women generations before us live. We can't live in service to men. It's killing us. One in four women are dying early deaths or more likely to die early death in a long-term relationship where they cannot express their emotions openly. But how do you express your emotions openly about wanting to be a woman who lives on purpose but still have a partner and be supported? How do you express that if the man already has insecurities, preconceived notions about what a woman should be, value systems that were put in place not even by himself values that he inherited from somebody else a lot of us created our relationships from pure ego we were trying to fulfill a need women on purpose are the ones laying the foundation for the new earth I just said it and I stand on it for men and cultures where they allow, support, stand by, invest, sponsor their women to do whatever makes them happy and it don't bother them. Them men ain't struggling and they countries ain't in wars. The countries that's in wars right now, look at what be happening to the women and the children in those countries. Come on, y'all. Look. The great mom, she ain't come to play. She came to reestablish order. And a lot of men around here talking about their gods, but they hadn't brought order to their own temples. They're not taking care of their body. Some of them not taking care of their mind. Some of them don't know how to eat. Some of them don't know how to tend to themselves. Getting your house in order wasn't just talking about the physical house that we sleep in. It's talking about your mind, your heart, your spirit, your soul. Reclaiming that part of you. Men have been raped of what it means to be a truly divine masculine, a sacred masculine. They haven't had initiations. 
They don't really have elders to talk to. Like who, tell me, who is going to teach them how to be with a woman who's called to do some shit this world ain't never seen before? Right? And this is why so many women who really, really commit to their whatever it is, their sacred colony is, they feel like they got to sacrifice their relationship to do that. Am I lying? Y'all know this is the truth. Like men, like learn more than the physicality of being a man. Spiritually, build yourself up. Get your weight up. When I put that in that song, that's why I said that. Get your weight up. That means find your light. Find your power. Learn how to navigate darkness. Learn how to create a safe relationship. What does that mean? Learn how to regulate your nervous system. Fellas, we go need y'all. We need y'all to be non-egoic and unattached and in your heart. And I know the way we move and look real different. Shit, what y'all go, like a lot of men ain't even ready because what's going to happen when we start being told, you know what, y'all need to start doing some healing and you need to actually touch one another. I feel like most men going to be like, wait a minute, why I'm not in the mix of that? Wait, you, you doing what? You, you having a retreat and you invite all of these women, these beautiful women and y'all go do what? Yeah, we go energy heal. Well, what does that consist of? Well, it consists of us touching one another sometimes and sometimes just sending energy to one another. Most men minds are not going to go to the spiritual part of that. It's going to be like, dang, you don't even be touching me like that. You know, so it's like sensuality for a lot of women has been put in prison. Because if a man has insecurities or he has possession, this desire to possess the woman, to dominate the woman, to control the woman. I mean, they were told that they had the right to do this. It wasn't that long ago that men owned us. The generations before us, they had to accept a whole bunch of bullshit in relationships because there wasn't any other options. They didn't have a choice. Papa was a rolling stone, but grandmama was at home, right? She was the one that was healing everybody. Even when the other woman whooped his ass, he came back home to her and she nursed him back to health. See, I watched it and saw it. And so you have to go deeper from the physical and look at the root of this. What is the root of this? What is happening? Y'all, something is really, really off when we feel like we have to babysit men's loneliness, it's not just me. It's not just you. And this ain't to put men down. They've been through something. They are they are generals who were meant to be able to be in this spiritual warfare as a new earth is being created and born. And because of their capacity to bring such transformative energy into this world, the powers that be said we got to psychologically rape them we have to confuse them we have to emasculate them we have to fix it where they are so locked into their mind into their head that they can't feel their heart so if they woman hurt and they don't even know where to begin to help her because they don't know how to be with their own emotions so we'll create sayings and things like you know the women they just too emotional we'll, we'll create that we'll say behind every great man is a woman we'll never ever say that behind a great woman there might be a man so they're gonna find their usefulness and being needed by the woman and we must keep the woman oppressed and needy and as long as that's happening men will be okay but now men are saying that a lot of women really don't need them and for a lot of men it's not enough to be wanted i told my partner i don't really need you but i want you you are my life because i chose you men don't choose the woman women choose the men see matrilineal villages communities it was very different than living in this patriarchy y'all and we're being called to restore some of those virtues to restore some of those qualities 
A lot of men have this aggression and they don't know where to put it. They got this anger and this rage inside of them. They don't know where to put it. Most men don't grieve. People die and their family and their partners die and stuff. And a lot of times their emotional body is so disconnected from, from their consciousness. They don't even really deal with it. And so that accumulates over time. So when somebody come back from war and I have seen that as well, it looks exactly like what I see happening in a lot of our communities, in our relationships, in our families, in our homes. War ain't something that's just going on over there in them other countries that we don't have to name. That's a reflection of what's happening inside of us. The ego, the wounded inner child, it's been in control. It's been making all the decisions. Now, I've done many lectures breaking this down and explaining this. You know, I'm going to upload a video tonight. And tonight, I'm going to be delving into, because I, when I died and went to hell, what I was shown is what I'm saying now. And I want to make sure that in case you're new to my new verse, I want to make sure that I'm able to connect these dots for you so that y'all can see this. Because places where women and children are not properly protected, are going to fall first. We need to meditate to my women. Spend time with you. Meditate, loving yourself, massaging yourself, hot oils, um, whatever self-care you can. I mean self-care OD when possible. To the fellas, I really don't care to talk to you right now because I don't feel like I'm the one that's in position to speak to you. I have always been a teacher. And any man I ever been in a relationship with, he'll tell you. Like, she taught me a lot of shit. I've always been a teacher. I've always been a master in this thing called love. It's part of what I came here to do as a goddess, as a Venusian goddess, specifically. But what I will say to you is, you will do yourself a major disservice to hold the woman back, to not support her or scold her for moving different. And it won't take long for you to see that what you're doing is not beneficial for your mental health, your well-being, or hers, or children. So this, this is a really serious thing that's happening here. And for those of you who, who, who tuned in today, I appreciate you. You know why I appreciate you? I appreciate you because you see through the way that I dim my light and be small. I know some people don't be quite sure about me sometimes. But see, I've been through a whole lot of trauma. So I'm peeling off the mask. I wear a lot of them. And I'm not ashamed. And the people pleaser come out sometimes when I do my videos. And I'm trying so hard to connect and strive to please that is missing that that element, that 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 Kamsonism, right? It's just me. I'm a fucking Egyptian win, you know. And it took me years to figure out how to be able to project myself out into the world. I just am who I am. And so my personal traumas, which are deep, baby, let me tell you, I never had a client who had a trauma that I didn't have. And I have served thousands of people all around the world. You can check the testimonials. I ain't got nothing to prove. You know, but how many people say that they are a spiritual teacher and upload their whole life? I'm an open book. I ain't hid nothing and have no reason to. Because I'm proud of everything that I've been through. You know, so I, I just want to thank you because it does sometimes i see myself and i'm like girl you you dimmed your light like i'm like a fucking light dimmer i need to take my ass to lows and be like look what's the highest watch you got because see that's what my soul did my soul was like we're going to spiritual lows baby we're gonna cut the wattage up so thank you for seeing me i have worked for free i have done most of this for free i don't charge a lot and I have only been doing that not because I don't think that I'm worth it because I know that I'm worth it like 
please tell me where you could ever find a woman quite like me nowhere it's just me so i know that i'm worthy i know that i'm priceless right but i want to reach people because i really believe in my heart of hearts that i have a lot of answers and i had to die twice to get it that's how stubborn i am talk about a woman who don't let go i baby baby I would ride till the wheels fall off. One of the most loyal people I have ever known in my life, but I was loyal to my detriment. I was killing myself. As an empath, being exposed to all the traumas that I went through, I'm, I'm surprised that I even have my sanity. You know what I'm saying? More or less getting on here, being real with people and, 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 and letting people know what's happening spiritually. Like, psh, let me tell you, I'm so I'm proud of myself. And so when you connect with me per law of attraction, you will feel more pride for yourself too. And this is not about being perfect. It's not about fixing yourself. But please, please, please hear me when I say this. It always hits me first. Because I am a mama water. I am the lineage of the Sibylines who gave the prophecies and the oracles. I am her. And it took a while for me to even say this publicly because I was like, I don't want people to think that I think I'm the shit. What is that? Why the fuck would I even be worried about that? Who is people? I don't know who these people are because these people damn sure ain't paying my bills. And these people damn sure don't pull up on me when I need help. So why am I worried about people, right? So I want the energy that you connect with through me to be in its pure, primal, raw Form. And that is my vow that I will continue to do that. And it just became the Mars planetary hour right now. So like this energy right here, baby, we warring, we warring with love, right? We making love, not war, right? That's what we doing. Y'all go, oh, y'all better, they better be glad they shut my phone down. Hold on before I get off, because I do got some stuff to do, but I love y'all so fucking much. I mean that. And I, I couldn't love y'all the way I love y'all without loving me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love y'all so fucking much. Invest in yourself. Invest in your mental health. Stop stop being worried about what people go say and what people doing now. I'm telling you, none of that stuff matter. Because when you die and when you leave here, what you carry with you is the ghost of the things that you did not do, you knew you were called to do. And the pride of the things that you did. When I died, wasn't nobody there. The people before me and my family that died before me, yes, they met me there. They met me at the crossroads. But wasn't nobody, all them naysayers and the people I be worried about, wasn't none of them people there. So don't worry about people. That's a psychological program in the 3D majors to keep you from shining your light. I ain't trying to damn nobody light over here. I want anybody to connect with me to leave feeling better, to leave feeling stronger to leave feeling more confident in their journey and this me all day every day this how i am all day every day anybody who talked to me behind the scenes will let you know like yeah that's that's how she is that's just who she is and that's how much i love people but look i want y'all to see what i'm talking about my shit shut down <laughs> my shit shut down i ain't never seen my phone do that now, maybe some of y'all who, who like these, these iPhone masters or something, you can tell me, but my phone ain't never, ever did that. And I told y'all, Kempson is an Egyptian windstorm and they hot as a motherfucker. You hear me? Hot, baby. I'm talking about coming in hot. My phone was like, no, 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 no. This, this bitch is shining too bright. Shut this shit down. <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. What's up, Chantre? Oh, Misty back in here with me. Vanita, I see you. I got my sisters up in here. This is my family right here. That's what I'm talking about. Juicy Couture, I see you. Okay, y'all. Y'all know I got to tease y'all. I can't get out of here without teasing y'all. Oh, my goodness. If y'all just listen to some of these words, I'm going to have this song mix and mastered and do all the proper things that need to be done but this is the raw version and i just gotta let y'all hear some of this i've been taking all of these transmissions and putting it in music hold up can y'all hear this i'm gonna take some of this 
coming at base out. people like that in my presence you feel me and I'm sure you do too but that was recorded in my closet and it's so ironic that I live in Memphis so and I got on a hustle shirt right hustle so yeah the whole story of hustle and flows is a funny story but I recorded that in my closet like I said I ain't got no studio I ain't none of that I'm just full of creativity and it's just coming through me in so many different ways and I'm letting it come through and the shit just if I must say myself like I think it's pretty amazing to take like whole activations and put it in music right so y'all see it like from the ground up I don't know what this is going to turn into what it's going to become but I'm so here for it and I just want to let you know like keep looking for that higher love it's inside of you you know what I'm saying? It's inside of you. And everything that you ever need is inside of you. And I'm going to keep doing what I do. I promise myself that I will never again shrink myself, damn my light, and not walk my path because I'm afraid of the way it's going to make other people feel. Because there's a lot of people out there who feel just like I do. But um, yeah, so yes, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to do everything that needs to be done and perfected. And um, yeah, I'll be releasing it. But check out the video that I uploaded last night. I'm going to be uploading a video tonight to explain to you what hell really is and how to actually get out of that. I got hit with a block last night. So the full video is on Patreon. All of the links are in the bio. Tap in, y'all. Tap in, tap in. Y'all already know what it is. Man, your third. I just been kissed. Namaste, new me stay.